Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed race time for the 150s. Six laps here at Lyndon Hill, and we are green light racing. It's a great start then by O'Donovan down in towards turn number one. Oh, big old Argy Bargy then <laughs> trying to jostle for position down in towards the uh, Joker section of the circuit. Looks like Nick Pretty's got in there early nicely and is ahead. So we'll be in P4. But what a start then by O'Donovan as we run then up in towards the Devil's Elbow for the very first time there. Sliding through there beautifully as well in check. These cars are so, so tough to indeed get them to do what you want to do, ultimately. And uh, that was... The evidence in that was Steve Jones trying to get in some heat into the tyres actually spun the car uh, towards the grid. So yeah, they are very, very tough indeed. But when it comes to the racing, he is in P2, uh, which is beautiful. McGuinness then in P3. And then we've got Pretty. And then we've got indeed Alexander in P4 and P5. As we come then towards the start, or we are on the start of lap number two, it is indeed O'Donovan still leading the way in P1. And I feel like everybody behind him has now gone through the Joker. They have indeed here. So there you have it. Beautiful stuff indeed. O'Donovan still leads out the way. Great stuff here. You can see there's a lovely little battle. Nick Pretty trying to find a little bit of room to work with there. Not quite close enough to find that gap. Now he's going to have to be on the power as early as possible to try and get ahead of Alexander battling for that podium position. Lay on the brakes, opens up the top end beautifully well. And there's a gap opening up on the exit, but not quite able to get the power early enough. And as we run then down in towards Paddock Bend once again, everybody's gone through the Joker apart from one driver. That's the leader here. And that is Patrick O'Donovan out on his own. Got nothing to really worry about, but now he is indeed taking that Joker. So everybody's going to have done it in the first three laps of this race. Will he come out in the lead, though? That's the big question. Or will Jones... Oh, he's miles in the lead. It's not even a question. Jones is in second position. And that is a mighty, mighty lead there for O'Donovan. Fair play to him. Absolutely driving the wheels off of this buggy. The RX 150s. Beautiful to listen to. Beautiful to watch driving. Maybe not so much to drive there. Such a tough cookie to crack. But certainly, O'Donovan has cracked that cookie. Down then... The hill they come once again to head towards the midway part of this race. Still three laps to go. And as it stands, then it is going to be O'Donovan that is in the lead of this race. A fantastic start for him. Jones then is in P2. Uh, we then indeed do indeed have Alexander in P3. Pretty is in P4. And then we've got McGuinness in P5. So the battle for P3 really is where it's heating up. There is indeed, of course, the podium positions. Looks like the front two may have been sorted here. And is O'Donovan maybe losing a little bit of time here? That's a big question here. Is Jones potentially catching up? I'm not sure. You can see then Pretty just down in fourth position, just trying to, to keep tabs on that P3. Would love a podium here. As we run them back down the hill. Grabbing a load of curb on entry as much as you dare. And then over the very bumpy section, these RX 150s tend to take them pretty well, actually. But it's still very, very close here. And all of a sudden, McGuinness as well is involved here. So this could become a three-way battle for that podium spot. As McGuinness is catching up to both of them here. Runs a little bit wide, dips his left wheels into the gravel, but pretty makes the move for third. And there we go. He's going to get it done. In towards the elbow once again. And it is going to be P3 then for pretty. But will he be able to hold on to it? Alexander for sure is going to fight back here as they come up the hill. It's almost three wide. Oh, there's contact then. Big, big contact. McGuinness just taps Alexander there. They're both going to lose time. Pretty is going to be able to drive away here. And they're about to head on to the final lap of this race. Superb stuff. They are on the final lap of this race. O'Donovan in a great spot. Jones then is currently in P2. But it's this battle for the final podium spot. McGuinness gets all out of shape here. But there is a battle for the lead then. Up towards the devil's elbow. We will come. It looked like O'Donovan had this so signed, sealed and delivered. But ultimately that's not the case here. The long run up the hill. We will come. And can Jones find a little gap to work with? Big defensive move there by O'Donovan. He's going to be squared up on the apex here. Is there any room on the 
exit. Not quite. Think too much curve grab there by Jones. Down the hill they come. And who's going to win the RX 150 race? As they come then through Panic Bend, there is going to be a little bit of contact. A push through there. I think O'Donovan's going to survive. He is. Through the chicane he comes. He will take that checkered flag. What a race that was, ladies and gentlemen. Brilliant stuff from O'Donovan and Jones. Who's going to get P3? It's going to be pretty. He does it. He gets P3. He was so, so patient. He was behind Alexander for about four laps. Uh, but ultimately, uh, McGuinness and Alexander had then the contact afterwards, which has given McGuinness the opportunity to go up to P4. But what a race it was. O'Donovan looked like he was going to win an absolute canter today. It wasn't quite as easy. It wasn't that procession. But what a drive it was in the end. Does take the victory here. Congratulations.